So this was one of the photos that I was working from, and I wanted to uh, create that uh, ridgy, uh, woolly effect. Um, and I decided to create that on all of the lambs, uh, whether or not it was in the original models, to give them a certain amount of unity. And it's a very um, characteristic uh, visual sort of clue about lambs. So the way I did that was to um, paint little wavy lines and, uh, and try and recreate that ridginess. On top of the uh, pouncing that I did before, it seemed to um, be indicated in order to create that really woolly feeling. So after I had painted the wiggly lines, then I scratched wiggly lines through those uh, to create even more detail and to soften the lines uh, so that they wouldn't be too strong. <coughs> This gave me a little bit more control, as always, than the paintbrush, because uh, with the paintbrush, the, the uh, paint tends to, to uh, slip. So here's what the lambs looked like after they were painted. And uh, here's a detail so that you can see where the painting was and where the scratching was. So all the little lambs now have their, uh, their little curly ridges. Did a little bit on their faces as well. This was the most difficult lamb to paint, actually, because the model was so uh, was so small and so blurry. And finally, the little uh, sitting lamb. So I fired these. Um, again, I'm firing at about 1250. Uh, I'm leaving the pieces in the kiln for about two minutes. Uh, the firings are very tricky, making sure that the uh, paint doesn't spread. So here they are finished, and you can see that that um, effect that I was going at after is there, but it's softened now that the firing has happened, and that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So you can see it, but it's not, uh, it's not really overwhelming. It just gives a nice curly feeling to the lamb. 